Uh, my name is Tom Holdner. I'm a senior technical specialist at BJC Healthcare. My role is primarily a solutions architect. BJC Healthcare is um, an organization of 13 hospitals in the St. Louis metro area. We are the largest healthcare provider in the St. Louis metro area. Um, we cover about 90 mile radius from around St. Louis. We have a long-term relationship with IBM. We've been working with IBM for 30 plus years. Started out on the mainframe. In the neighborhood of 85% of our software is vended solutions. Um, our vendors tend to bring in Oracle, SQL Server, our DB2. Primarily SQL Server. Most of our applications are Windows-based applications. We have two Sybase applications currently today. Both of those are in-house developed and we would like to move those to DB2. Within DB2 we have one very large um, database. It's a clinical data repository. It's used for viewing all of our clinical results within the entire organization, all of our separate hospitals, um, consolidated into one, and it contains roughly 55 terabytes of data. In total, we probably have about 70 terabytes of data in DB2. Our two Sybase applications. One of them is an OLTP application, a results viewing application, running for specifically just one of our hospitals. The other one is a business intelligence application, data warehouse application. The OLTP application, as I mentioned, is results viewing. It supports our physicians and um, patients at one of our hospitals and allows them to look up the results. It's got real-time feed into it, so as results are generated, they're put in the system immediately. The business intelligence application is primarily a, um, an application built on store procedures and triggers. It has very few static queries, has a lot of dynamic queries running within it. So the two applications are very different from each other. One of the things we did on our BI application recently, about a year ago, we were running into some major performance problems. Um, the system was running on 12.5, Sybase 12.5 at the time, and they contacted Sybase about it. And Sybase said, well, you need to upgrade to 15, and that's going to improve your performance. We did, and it had minimal improvement of performance. So after we upgraded to 15, our, the group, that works with that, they contacted Sybase and they, they actually brought in a consultant that was very familiar with Sybase to help us out. After a little bit of time, the consultant decided that our best option was to go to Sybase IQ and that's gonna solve our problem. Well, after looking at it and figuring out what it's gonna to take to go to Sybase IQ and with all of our development time or DBA time and the cost of the software and everything, it was gonna be around a quarter of a million dollars. We said that something's not right here. We know we can move to DB2 at a much lower cost than that. So we took a look at it. We did an analysis project, uh, what's the right way, way to go, and took a look at all the costs. As part of that analysis project, we actually took the database, converted it over to DB2, and took some of the queries, um, a handful of them, um, a mix of the different types of queries, and did the testing. By just converting it over to DB2 and not making any changes to the queries, we were able to improve performance by about 15% over Sybase 15. We then took that and ran the queries through Query Tuner and made adjustments to the queries. And by doing that, we were able to speed some of the queries up by six or eight folds. So for example, I remember one query that ran in six hours, we were able to speed that one up where it ran in 15 minutes. Overall, we knew that moving to DB2 was the right thing to do there. So what, what we have done since then is we have said that Sybase IQ is not going to be a solution here at BJC. We're currently working with IBM and Ant Software to migrate the OLTP application to DB2. And so far that migration has been very successful. We went into it with a goal of not changing a single line of code. And so far we've been able to do that. We have run into a few problems as we've been going through this. Um, but the problems have been minor in nature. They've been solved fairly quickly. Ant Software has worked with us all the way along the way. They assigned an architect that has helped us out. They tried to make it as minimally 
in the intrusive to us as possible. And I think we're going to be going to production sometime early next year with this. We'll finally get rid of Sybase in our environment. Um, Sybase has brought us some challenges in the sense that we only have two applications on Sybase. And because of that, it takes our DBA so much longer to do everything. I was talking to our DBAs and they believe it takes about six times longer to do anything on Sybase than it does on any other database that they're familiar with. Primarily the reason for that is, since they don't work with it daily, if they, whenever they have to apply a patch, they have an issue they have to deal with or anything like that, they have to go out and try to figure out how to do it again. It's not something that they deal with on an everyday basis, so it just takes a lot longer to figure it out or they'll have to do quite a bit more research to resolve an issue. It's just not something that they do every day. It's not like SQL Server or DB2 or Oracle that our DBAs deal with on a daily basis. We expect to be able to free that time up that they're spending on Sybase and then be able to use that time to be able to support our existing databases that we have in SQL Server or Oracle or DB2 or the other databases that are coming in daily almost it seems like. So with DB2, um, some of the favorite features that we like of DB2 today are the autonomics and XML, the pure XML and the compression. The pure XML gives us benefit in the sense that we're, we're starting to get an awful lot of our data is in XML format and everything. Now we can actually store that data directly in the database in XML format. It relieves us from having to constantly make database changes. We get a lot of changes that uh, occur to our data and we're constantly making database schema changes. By going to XML, we can make schema changes without ever having to touch the database. So there's definitely some added value there. Our autonomics. Our DBAs really like the autonomics of DB2 because it frees them up to do other tasks. They use the self-tuning um, capability, the storage management capabilities, and they just spend a lot less time on DB2. For compression, we've been using compression for our data warehouse and for um, one of our pure XML databases. And that has saved us both disk space, but also we're seeing a performance improvement in both those applications. So that has been a good feature for us. From going back to the autonomics, I'm actually working with one of our partners at the university and they're primarily an Oracle shop. And the person I'm working with there, the DBA, has been able to install DB2 and create a new database in it in just a matter of a couple of hours. Um, with Oracle, that same task would have taken him a number of days, if not a week. And so his comment to me was he's been very impressed with DB2 so far the amount of work that he's had to do has been minimal compared to what he's used to for our Oracle. We have two data centers. We try to, um, try to go as much as we can into an active failover situation so that if one of our data centers, we lose one of our data centers, we can continue running. Um, we have a core set of applications that we work very hard to try to do that. Since we are very much a vended shop, we don't always have that luxury. We have to rely very much on our vendors. For our applications that we develop in-house, that we develop on DB2, we have been able to implement an act, a true active-active solution. And in those cases, we can take out any one of our servers or any of our data centers and continue running. Actually, that's happened once before um, by accident. So it, it does work. And it's proved itself out. So that's kind of the environment we're in today. Virtualization, we're, we're very much looking at virtualization. In fact, we have a mandate uh, to reduce the number of servers um, that we have on our floor. Um, so we're very much using virtualization to do that. In our new data center, which just opened up this past summer, in there we will have nothing but virtualization. So there is to be no standalone hardware. So primarily for our DB2 databases, we run those on larger um, AIX servers. We run a couple of LPARs that are running DB2 in the virtualized world there. We do also have some DB2 virtualized on the Intel platform running Linux. We have a couple more running on Windows that are also in virtualized. We're thinking a little bit about the cloud and can we put DB2 in the cloud? We know we can. Um, is this something that works for us? And we're still trying to analyze that. But we're definitely going to toward a virtualized environment as much as possible. I'm very happy with the Sybase to DB2 conversion project that we've been doing. 
with IBM and Ant Software and looking forward to continuing that relationship in 2011 on our next conversion effort.